So hey guys, and welcome to the first endurance challenge of 2017. I had a couple of requests from last year, but I decided to start it off with a Rook Direct Survival since, well, everyone could use a couple of mutagen samples right now. Now, I only managed to stay in ODS for 1 hour and 31 minutes before running out of life support, and that was definitely my fault. The enemies were over level 200, and I just didn't have enough damage because I stupidly brought the Amprex and secured Alecta instead of something like Tonkor and maybe the Zeni Star. Now, I usually try to top the leaderboard for the weekly endurance challenge, but with the exception of RN177, which is number one, all the other people ran in groups. And I would love to know what kind of setup he ran there, because at 2 hours and 20 minutes, the enemies are well over level 300, so he probably ran Naramon with something like Galatine Prime, because otherwise I have no idea how you'd actually kill them to get life support. Now, I did change the rules a little bit from last time, so I'm gonna go through them one by one so you know what you're getting yourself into. Rule number one, this one is actually the same, solo only, because that way you have to decide, especially in survival missions, you have to decide whether you want to get something like Necro, so you have more life support, or you want to get something beefier so you don't have as much trouble with the enemy damage output. Rule number two, your final time is going to be the last reward rotation you manage to complete. And this goes for defense waves as well. So as an example, I managed to get to 1 hour and 31 minutes in ODS, so my final time is going to be 1 hour 30. Because, well, that's the last rotation reward I managed to complete. And if I did a defense mission and I got to wave 77, my last finished rotation would be 75. And I decided to add this rule just to prevent people from trying to survive for like 2 or 3 more seconds than the next guy. And as a result of this rule, if you want to win, you have to beat me and everyone else that enters this challenge by at least one reward rotation. So if I go to 1 hour and 30, you have to get to at least 1 hour 35. Now, just like last time, this is PC only because, first of all, the leaderboards aren't shared between PC and consoles. And second of all, I don't own any consoles, so even if you won, I couldn't give you the reward. And that's pretty much it. You have to be solo and you have to beat me and everyone else by at least one reward rotation. So either five minutes in survival or five waves in defense once we do a defense mission. Everything else is allowed. You can run whatever focus school you want, whatever frame, whatever weapon. You can even run them with Rivens. I don't care. This challenge is designed to reward people who put in the time and effort and max out their gear. Now, to enter this challenge, you have to do three things. First of all, you have to beat me by at least five minutes. However, I would recommend trying to stay for as long as you can so that you beat other people as well, because you do have to beat me and everyone else. Once you do that, I want you to take two screenshots. The first one is going to be the ending screen, so I can see what setup you ran, and also I can see if you cheated and had four people that just left before you extract it. And the second one is going to be the weekly leaderboard with you beating my score. And finally, you want to take these two screenshots and send them over to mcgamerseasatgiveaway at gmail.com with a short description of the run. And that's it. If you manage to beat me and everyone else, you will win something. And this time around, it's going to be a full Valkyr Prime set. And I really don't care what you do with the Prime set. You can build it or you can sell it. Now, I'm also thinking about adding another rule, but I'm not sure if it's actually a good idea because we had a little problem with the endurance challenge last time. We had one person ace it every single time. So he won like three endurance challenges, I think, in a row. So I was thinking about a rule where if you win once in January, you have to wait until February. You can't win in January anymore. So you can only win once a month and then you have to wait until the next month. So let me know what you think, you know, if I should add it or not. And I almost forgot to mention that this challenge will run until the weekly leaderboard resets. So head over to ODS and go ham. And that's pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.